Hey guys, it's Dom from MobileDom.co.uk and today I have my top 10 webOS apps and patches. Now, uh, let's get down to it. Right, first is an app that almost every webOS user should have, whether it be a Pre, a Pre Plus, a Pre 2, a Pre 3, a Veer, a Pixie, a Pixie Plus, or even a touchpad. It is Preware. Now, Preware is a place where you can get your apps and your patches to make your um, web west device the best it can be and I know that sounds really corny and really cheesy but it's true like my pre would not be anywhere near as good as it was today if I didn't have uh, pre-wear installed if I didn't have pre-wear I probably wouldn't even have most of the apps I have on here and I definitely would not have any of the patches because I've got them all I've got all how many patches? I've got all 50 patches from um, Preware. Uh, it's a lovely app that it, like I said, it's, it says here, the universal application installer. That's basically what it is. It's like a file manager slash installer. So get Preware. I think uh, there's a free way to do it. But if you don't want to eat that, use a computer, which I put a video and I'll uh, put a link to it here. I'll put a link to that video on how to install Preware here. Uh, if you don't want to do that though, you can uh, go to the app catalog. Uh, you can type in freeware, and I think it costs seventy p to uh, download. Uh. Here it is. Sorry guys, I spelled it wrong. <clears throat> if you go to the marketplace. It is a uh, pre-wear uh, homebrew documentation, and that costs 79p. Or, um, like I said, there's a, a video to uh, that lets you do it on your computer. Uh, second app is going to be Governor, and I can say Governor because I'm from London. But um, obviously, if you're anywhere else in the world, you can't say it like that, or you won't say it like that. Um, Governor is an app that lets you uh, take control of your CPU, which is what its tagline is. Governor, take control of your CPU. Uh, it's funny, that this here, it's a, a temperature gauge, and it's live. So if you've got Governor open, and in your app tray, the Governor icon will actually update. So at the moment, mine is at 35 degrees, which I'm reckoning is all right, and I'm going to close that. Uh, so yeah, you just see it just jumped to 37 degrees, but um, yeah, Governor's a CPU controller. Uh, it comes with uh, all these uh, ones. I think it comes with the Palm default and the uh, uh, actually that's basically what it comes with. But um, if you're going to be using Uber, if you're going to be using uh, Governor or any CPU um, app, you are going to need Uber Kernel or a kernel app for your for your WebOS device of choice. And so on Uber kernel, you get the Uber kernel default, fixed speed 600, 720, 800. And then you get these ones which are called screen state. And screen state uh, uh, take your CPU up or down depending on where you are. So if you're in an app like email or messaging or using anything on the screen, it will jump to the highest proxy, so 800, 1000, and 1000. Or, and when the screen is off, it will go down to the lowest it can do, so 500, 500, 800. Then you've got one that I've made, which is speed, and speed is a performance kernel, um, which is highest it can go to is a gigahertz, lowest it can go to is a gigahertz. So I, I have my pre a gigahertz all the time. But um, if you go to uh, Preware, there is an app for... Uh, there's a, a space for kernels, and there's a few, but I recommend Uber Kernel. Um, next, we have FML, and uh, if any of you know what FML means, it's exactly like it is on the Android app, and exactly what it is on the, uh, the iOS app. It is an, an app where people post their FMLs. So, and you know, I spend so much time, like when I'm just like, trying to drift off the bed. Or if I'm bored, like I'm waiting for someone outside college, I will just like 
I will put uh, FML on and just read them and laugh. So I can't say much more than that, and I don't want to start swearing on YouTube. So uh, that's all I'm going to say about that, guys. Uh, next, we have Spaz, and Spaz is my Twitter client of choice. Um, it's really good. <laughs> Before you start getting into the paid ones, Spaz is probably the best one you can get. I mean, there are some really good paid ones like Carbon, uh, which I had for a while, but uh, I, I think I deleted it and I couldn't be able to repin pay again and then reinstall. So I stuck with Spaz and I really like it. Um, it has almost everything that a Twitter client needs. It's got your feed. Here you got um, refresh, or you can drag down to refresh like it's doing now. Uh, tap the mobile DOM. It just shows you my account, which is mine. So I'm at mobile underscore DOM. Tapping there lets you update your status. So if I write um, review of Spaz for Web OS post, and down here in notification it says posting message, and it said posted when it's done. Um, here, down the bottom, you've got your navigation. So you've got um, feed, at replies, DMs, favorites, people, and search. And that's really nice. And this is generally a very snappy app, and I really like it. The only problem is if you load up um, Spaz and you open up another, like say, like Facebook, which is going to come up next, uh, if when Spaz finishes loading, it will take over the app until you get rid of it. So, next is Facebook, and the Facebook app for WebOS is probably the prettiest app I have ever seen. I mean, the only way they can make this better, which is not going to happen now, WebOS is dead and no one's developing for it, is to add Facebook chat. I think that is the only way you could make this better. It's got your, uh, uh, what's it called, uh, timeline here, no timeline, your newsfeed. Sorry, and I've got it set to stay in my friend stats updates. Tap the photograph button, the camera button, to add a photo or take a new photo. Go back. Uh, tap like the little pinpoint to determine your, loca your location to go places. The globe is your notifications. Go there. Facebook takes you to the top or to the bottom. So, so like that. And the grid of icons there is the thing, so news, photos, search, inbox, profile, events, places, and open a new card. So like I said, guys, I really like the Facebook app. Like I said, the only thing they could really do to make this better is add to Facebook chat. So if there are any WebOS uh, developers watching this, I, I highly doubt there is, um, please add uh, Facebook chat to the Facebook app or make a good Facebook chat app. I would, I would pay for it. That's how much I want it. All right, last uh, uh, penultimate app before I start getting some patches is VLC Remote. VLC is the media um, player I use on my computer, and I usually have my laptop plugged into my television. And I don't want to have to go get my keyboard. I know it's wireless, but I don't want to have to go get my keyboard to um, just to control it. So if I go to uh, VLC Remote, you have to set up on your computer. Um, uh, the links that will be in the description box. Uh, and you set it up on your computer, then you open it up here, uh, you do add a computer, you'll be given like a four digit pin, and you click pair, it's simply, it's that simple, it really is, and it gives you the, um, sorry, I'm really popular today, um, you can uh, play, pause, you can, if you've got the pro version like I have, you, you can like, go through your computer to find all the music files or video files, the free version does not let you do that, but um, that's why it's free. Um, but yeah, that's it. I really like VLC remote, and there's a few more which aren't going to be included. But there's like an iTunes remote, and if you used iTunes, which I don't, I probably should, because I've got an iPod and all that. But um, yeah, you can get an iTunes remote, but that's VLC remote by Hobbyist Software. All right, last app is Lunar Manager, and Lunar Manager goes along with um, Preware in a way. Whenever you install a patch or you uninstall a patch. You have to do a lunar restart, which basically restarts the entire GUI, the graphical user interface, without getting into anything too serious. But you can also just rescan 
uh, that just rescans your entire phone, and you can just restart Java, and that basically, <coughs> sorry, this basically um, restarts the Java parts of the phone, which is basically quite a bit of the phone, so it does slow your device down a bit, but a lunar restart will just um, restart the GUI of your phone. Alright, and I'm not sure what that is. Oh, uh, yeah, it's the camera, sorry. And uh, bring get into the camera, that gives you my first patch. And the first patch I'm going to use is capture uh, with the volume keys. And so I've got quite shaky hands. I'm going to have to be going like this to try and find that to um, capture it. So I've got my thumb on the volume button. And... Simple as, it doesn't matter which volume button, I'm left handed so I use it that way, but um, yeah, and then you can go into it, oh it's upside down, obviously and then your photo would come up here. Um, the next app I'm going to uh, show you is Landscape Messaging, which conveniently opened up that way. The default web OS uh, messaging app, because there's no virtual keyboard or anything, if you're going to be texting, they always assume you've got your, your keyboard open, and then so that way you've got messaging that way. But what if you're in bed, or if you have got a virtual keyboard patch installed, you want to have it sideways. So you could just like be scrolling through your messages. So, yeah, that's my second patch. And the last... Uh, patch is the faster card animations hyper version and that is basically because even though I've got the pre uh, overclocked the animations are still really slow so look I could see that just came out straight away see that all this I, these are a lot faster than the stock pre so these are those are my top 10 uh, apps and patches for the pre uh, you can get me on the website, which is mobile underscore dom at, uh, sorry, mobile hyphen dom dot co uk. You can get me on Twitter, which is twitter dot com forward slash mobile underscore dom. You can get me on Google Plus, which is g plus dot to forward slash mobile underscore dom. I do personalised uh, consultations for phones and tablets, etc. etc. And the email address for that is uh, domenico at mobile hyphen dom dot co uk. Until next time, guys. Peace.